Hey guys, I'm Jamin with Kingdom Camping. What you see behind me is our latest Adventure Pro Mini 2.0 bill, and I'm gonna walk you guys through it and show you all the ins and outs. If this is your first time on our channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss any of our videos of our builds that we're doing. It is important to note that not everything you see on our videos is a standard spec that's included with the trailer. So make sure to hop on our website to see what all the specs that are included. It does come fully loaded, but we allow for customization and people to add on and delete things. Now let's get started here with the obvious. We've got this really nice topo wrap in a matte black with kind of a gold topo lines and it finishes out this trailer really nicely. Now, second of all, you're gonna see up top, we have this giant 180 awning by Taruka, this shower awning by Taruka. It's on the side. And then off to the other side, we've got another 180 awning on the passenger side. That way we have big full coverage all the way around this trailer. One feature that comes with these awnings, it has these light strips. Therefore, we added some extra SEAE plugs here on the side for this client. That way they can plug in this awning and have some lights at nighttime. Now, up top here, you can see we have a shower mounted on the side. This is a very nice shower. I'm impressed. Um, some of the features it includes is these shocks that assist you to release the awning up top. And then you can see here you have this nice opening right where your uh, hot and cold water are. I've got the shower head hanging here. It's got these nice little places where you can put some soap, um, one on each side. There's zippers here to zip it shut. There's stakes in the corners. And uh, one thing that's actually included that I don't have here is a floor. So it actually comes with the vinyl floor that, that zips on around the bottom. That way you can be completely off the ground nice and clean area to take a shower. So this shower mounted on the side is a great addition to this build. Allows for awesome outdoor showers. And as you see, we have hot and cold water here and there's easy access and a great place to clean up. Off to the side, you see our rock sliders. This protects the trailer when you're off-roading. Here in each corner, we have a art stabilizer jack. Those drop down and then there's a hand crank to, to force them down to the ground. You can actually lift uh, the trailer up if you want to change the tire. We've got these nice heavy duty door latches. That way when you open your door, you can latch that in place like so. And that allows for you to have your screen door open like this. Here on the driver's side compartment of the storage front storage box is where the LP tank holder uh, LP line and the regulator are now you can either put a 20 or a 30 pound tank in this area here up above the storage box you can see it's a good place to put extra items that you can strap down um, I've got the awning tied to it currently um, you can climb up here you can see the moon gazer window this is a floodlight off-roading light and uh, this gives you a view of the Dometic 12 volt air conditioner. And we've added some extra bars here in the front for this client. That makes it possible to have a kayak or something similar across the whole top of this trailer. Up front, we have it ready with the spare tire holder. There's a DC to DC charging cable, your typical seven pin for your lights. Um, it's got the DO35 hitch. This is our articulating hitch from Cruise Master. It's got a handbrake, that way it locks the trailer into place that can't move when you're at campsite. There's a nice arc jack here in the front. This lifts and lowers the front end. And once you've got it hitched up to your truck, you can pull on it and fold it up out of the way. Here on the passenger side front apartment door is where the Red Arc electronics are all kept. You've got a nice 15RY inverter. This is the Manager 30 kit. So you can charge with solar, DC to DC, or by shore power. You have all your fuses up here in the distribution 
uh, box here. There's an extra fuse box here for non-Bluetooth controlled items. You have a power kill switch here and a solar kill switch. There's a nice little light in here so when it's dark you can see what you're doing. Here on the sides above the door you can see we have the floodlights that lights up the camp at night and of course there's another SAE plug for the lights on this awning and you have your nice dual pane acrylic windows. These have a good R value and uh, they don't shatter which is nice for off-road and cold weather camping. Down here you can see there's a LP gas uh, quick connect and we'll get into that in a minute when we slide out this kitchen slide out of this door. So when you go to open this door you can see there's a nice uh, triple seal on this door keeps out all the dust and all the water and it's got a tension lock that locks it into place when you shut it and there's a cable holding this door open that way you can use it to set stuff on here otherwise you go ahead and uh, pull out your slide first you have the Dometic LP gas two burner cooktop so you can pull it out just like this if you're cooking, you still got some space to put stuff right here. Once you're ready to pull out your fridge, you're going to push on those yellow tabs that you see and pull the slide all the way out. Now this is this is a custom fridge that the client requested. This is an ISCO and it opens from this side and it also opens from this side, which is very neat. And we'll get into that here in a second and explain to you why it was important to have a dual sided uh, fridge that opens from both ways. Now, as you can see, there's two compartments too. So you can have um, it frozen on one side and refrigerated on the other side. Now there's this nice little extension that goes on the pull-out stove. Push that in, drop it down. That's a good place to set some extra utensils or cooking supplies. And of course, we have the quick connect hose extension. This hooks onto your quick connect on the stove and down below, that's how you get your gas supplied to your stove. All right guys, so we're here in the back kitchen and you can see the exact reason why this client wanted uh, doors that open from both sides. We did add a pass through in this trailer and that allows you to reach into the fridge from the inside of the trailer to grab a drink or something like that at nighttime. Otherwise, you got your nice uh, overhead cabinets here on struts up top, give some good storage. Um, this client also custom added this with adjustable shelves and there's a door on the other side that actually allows you to reach in and get stuff off of those shelves from the inside of the trailer as well. Here you can see the typical stainless steel sink and uh, you got hot and cold water here, outlet there, outlet here, fire extinguisher there's a light switch here that turns on and off the light in the back and just some extra storage storage up here if you've ever wondered why there's nothing in here this actually serves as an access to get into the shower so if you pull on this shelf it'll release itself and uh, you can get in there to work on the shower fittings if you ever need to Here in the back, of course, you have this rock slider here. There's a two inch receiver hitch that's rated around 300 pounds if you want to put an extension in a bike, something like that, or a cargo rack. Um, you've got the uh, stabilizer jacks in each corner here. You've got your brake turn lights and reverse lights and all that. And your license plate holder here. Now let's hop under this trailer here, give you a good look at the CRS2 suspension from Cruise Master. This has the shocks and the, the spring and the shock absorbers. And uh, there's a very nice um, clearance height of just over 20 inches under here. So you can travel off road and really with no problem with this trailer. Let's hop in this trailer and see what we got inside. So as you can see as you get in here, the big door that's open for the, the fridge. We'll just show that right away. So there is space to reach in here and get a drink. And that shuts like so. And you've got your cabinet that allows you to access those shelves in the kitchen from this side. And those are adjustable so you can take one out or move around the height if you want. Up top, you've got all your nice overhead cabinetry. Now normally we just have netting in here. 
and this client wanted to add the actual doors so we've got doors all the way around these are on struts and uh, latch into place when they're shut we've also added our newly designed bump out wall so this allows for the heat vents to be moved up higher and blow over the top of the bed and uh, this does take away a little bit of floor space guys just think about that um, it takes it down about 73 and a half inches on the floor um, so if you're extra tall like six four six five uh, we do need to remove the bottom half of this cabinet there's another video titled new layout that includes the bottom half of this cabinet missing and that gives you back to about your 79 inch uh, floor space for taller people as you can see these dual pane acrylic windows have a built-in shade and also a bug screen when you pull it down to open these you pull in these tabs push it out and it has different levels where it locks in the open position and to close it you'll push it all the way up and down if you want to let some air circulate the cabin you can lock it in the halfway open position like that so you still have a breeze coming in otherwise you can shut them all the way like this now up top you've got the Dometic 12 volt air conditioner and of course this guy allows you to cool your unit off the grid when you're out on the mountain and it's 90 degrees in the summer this thing's running right off the 300 amp hour lithium battery that's on board and it actually has a low draw on eco mode it only draws about 18 to 19 amps an hour off of your battery as long as you have a good source of recharging your battery like battery like a solar blanket um, this unit is sustainable off the grid it'll recharge itself even when you're using the AC now I'll let you guys hear this unit as it kicks on and runs it's not the quietest thing in the world but it does do a great job of cooling down this unit and most of the sound you hear is actually on the outside so the outside is much louder than it is on the inside here when you're trying to sleep and as long as you get it down in like the low fan mode and on eco mode it does run pretty quiet up front here you see our large moon gazer window um, we've got our 110 plugs USBs, wireless chargers, these have built in A and C uh, type USB. Typically we do include a smart TV in this space. Uh, this client decided to delete it out. I believe they'll be working quite a bit in here. We actually added an SAE plug here. That's how he normally charges his laptop the way I understand it. So they're gonna be on the road and be able to work out of this trailer um, and have you know off-grid power and if they got their Starlink, they can run their internet off the grid as well here. Here you see the Red Arc display. This gives you control like your lights, your water pump, your floodlights outside, your, your inverter, um, your furnace, which is down below here. And really it tells you everything about the trailer's electronics. You can see um, your state of charge, how fast you're using battery, your temperatures. Uh, you can even see your water tank level. So it really tells you everything about the trailer here. And there is an app that you can download called the Red Arc app. And this allows you to actually control everything from your phone as well and to monitor everything and see what's going on. Down below here is the combi furnace and hot water heater. So this has a furnace mode, hot water mode. Um, this tells you your input, gas or electric, and then your fan speed. And this is all built into one nice little unit um, in the back and runs off LP gas or electric. You can see these cabinets have the nice marine latches. This is all a Bicom poly plastic material. There's no wood used in the entire unit. So nothing's going to rot or mold over time. It's going to hold its value for a long time. And these latch shut into place like so. So they can't open when you're going down the road. This trailer does have a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,500 pounds. And even with the additional awnings, um, it comes in at under 2,400 pounds, so you still have room for about 1,100 pounds of cargo. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. If you got any more questions, make sure to reach out to us here at Kingdom Camping, and we'd love to build you a trailer like this. If you want to get on our build list, make sure to contact us, go over the details. You'll put down a deposit, and we'll get your trailer built out this year yet.